Let's start and look to this question number one. Consider a function of f of x where f of c is indeterminate. The question is whether it is correct to assert that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c. Let us examine it with an example. Take the function f of x is equal to quantity of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1. If we attempt to substitute x is equal to 1, we encounter an indeterminate form 0 over 0. Because our numerator and denominator is 0, f of 1 becomes indeterminate. However, this doesn't mean that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is also indeterminate. Let's explore it further. Starting by factoring x squared plus 1, we can simplify the function and write it as f of x is equal to x plus 1 by moving the indeterminate form. Then we can evaluate the limit as x approaches 1, which is 1 plus 1, and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, in this case, it is incorrect to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to f of 1. Instead, we find that the limit is 2. And to answer our question, it is incorrect to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c, where f of c is indeterminate. The second question is in a function f of x, f of c is undefined. Is it correct to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to positive infinity? Why do you say so? Before we answer this, we have an example that is related to our given question. That is, the limit of 1 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So as we can see from the screen, we have a table of values. From the left, we have the x values of 1, 1 1.5, 1 1.8, 1 1.9, 1 1.99, and 1.999. If we substitute our x values to our equation to get the f of x, we will have negative 1 for 1, negative 2 for 1.5, negative 5 for 1.8, negative 10 for 1.9, negative 100 for 1.99, and negative 1000 for 1.999. From the right, our x values are 3, 2.5, 2.2, 2.1, 2.01, and 2.001. Again, we're just going to substitute our x values to our equation to get the f of x. For 3, we have 1. For 2.5, we have 2. For 2.2, we have 5. For 2.1, we have 10. For 2.01, we have 100. And for 2.001, we have 1,000, positive 1,000. If we further observe our table of values, we can see that as x approaches to positive 2 from the left, through the values less than 2, our f of x kept on decreasing, making the value of f of x more negative as seen on the table. The same goes as x approaches to positive 2 from the right. Given as we use the values that are greater than 2, our f of x kept on increasing on the positive side. The two values that we got from our tables are both unequal to each other, since 1 is negative and 1 is positive. So we can say that the limit of 1 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2 does not exist, because it is undefined. It is also obvious if we solve this via substitution, since we will have 1 over 2 minus 2, and that equals to 1 over 0, which is also undefined. So to answer our main question from before, is it correct to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to positive infinity? The answer is no, because... As seen from our example, if our equation is undefined, then the limit of it does not exist. So it is quite impossible for it to be equal to positive infinity. 
This is due to the fact that we all know that a function is defined if and only if f of x and f of c are both equal. And since neither of them are equal, it is undefined and doesn't have a limit. In a polynomial function f of x, is it correct to say that limit of function f of x is equal to f of c where x approaches c? Example 1. f of x is equal to 25x plus 4 where, where x is approaches c. To complete the formula, we need to substitute the f of c to f of x to find the answer. Our f of c is 3. So, we substitute the 3. f of 3 is equal to 25 times 3 plus 4, where x approaches 3. So, f of 3 is equal to 25 times 3 plus 4. First is, we need to multiply the 25 and times 3. So, 75 plus 4 is equal to 79. Example 2, f of x is equal to 79x plus 2, where x approaches c. So, our f of c is 5. We need to substitute kagaya ng ginawa natin sa example number 1. f of 5 is equal to 79 multiplied by 5 plus 2, where x approaches 5. So, f of 5 is equal to 79 multiplied by 5 plus 2. Ang una natin is, multiply muna natin yung 79 and 5. So, 395 plus 2 is equal to 397. So, on question number 5, the answer is yes. F of x is equal to f of c because we need to substitute the f of c to complete the formula.